people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa, pa, se, what they do. Now, the first thing that is popping in the news that we see a member of the unruly entourage has lost his life. A motorcyclist and his name is Dwayne Mitchell. He is he was 35 years old at the time of his untimely passing away. And he is also known by the name Boca on the street. That is what they call him. Now, people, there has been a lot of voice notes out there, a lot of persons speculating. So, people, I am going to let you listen to a voice note of Word on the Street, and then I am going to let you listen to the video of the actual incident. And, people, you understand that this is YouTube and it has to be edited because certain things just won't fly. So, people, take a listen to the audio, and then I'll let you listen to the video. I was a St. Thomas the Hot Man at a retreat. Uh, the artist was named Quadadan. I entered so they must have go to the and he might ride the bike and him go slam up in the back of the Jeep where the other fans were in and then the truck ran over him. So people, so far, so good. That is fairly accurate. However, I want you to also take a listen to the edited version of the video and then I'll give my piece. He lit up in the back of the car and the truck drive over him. Jesus Christ. Now, people, obviously, you saw that his friends that were in the entourage, they were obviously shaken, distraught, emotionally traumatized because there were three carloads of people, entourage or convoy, that were traveling along the retreat main road we are speaking about in St. Thomas. Now, based on the official information of exactly what took place, the artists including Quada, which like I said is signed to Popcorn, which is unruly. He was traveling in one of the three vehicles. I am not sure specifically which vehicle. However, it was a convoy or an entourage of three vehicles and also the bike man. So therefore, three vehicles and one bike. The person that lost his life, he was actually riding on the bike. He was the sole person on the bike. Now, based on the information, it is said that this incident took place at about 2.15, like I said, on the retreat main road. And the three vehicles were traveling. Obviously, they were traveling at a speed because them break up. Them suddenly break up for basically yield to a truck that was coming in the opposite direction. Now, people, I know that in the video we hear this lady saying that the truck ran over him. People, that is not so. Based on the official information, it is said that after these three vehicles suddenly stopped to yield to the truck and people like me say, I don't know who was in the right of way or who had the right of way. However, the three car them break up and crash in each other. So we are talking about a three vehicle collision, all of the persons that were in the entourage. And it is also said that the bike man being Boca, 
the 35 year old Dwayne Mitchell, he hit the side of the truck and he lost control. And when he lost control, he hit in the back of the entourage or the convoy, the third vehicle that was at the back. So people, that is the official thing of exactly what took place based on where the Pope was say, based on the incident report, based on what the people at the hospital, the place of recovery are saying. So anyways, people, he received major damage to his head and he was taken to the Princess Margaret Hospital. However, he did not make it. He basically succumbed to his injury. So people, that is official. Now, based on information or from the Popo report, it is also said that the four other vehicles, meaning the three vehicles that were in the convoy, the entourage, and also the truck, they are one for prosecution by the Popo. So, therefore, it seems like the Popo is investigating because they could not make a determination upon the spot as to who was wrong or who was right. However, like we see, somebody lost their life and it could have been easily avoided. Now, people, when we talk about St. Thomas and that main road upon St. Thomas, people, we are talking about some of the worst roads in a Jamaica, some bad, bad road. It's filled with potholes, it's filled with all kind of things. And people, there's always a lot of trucks that are always driving upon that road. And people, it is uneven, it's unlevel. There are always rocks that are rolling off of the hill. There is always some sort of dog in the street. May I talk about pass away. So therefore, sometimes I have to wonder because that is a street that I often take. I take St. Thomas, go through um, Portland or Portland back to St. Thomas to Kingston. I was actually there on Saturday and every time I drive upon the road, I always said to myself, you know, so enough people are going to lose their life upon the road because of the condition, because the road full of potholes. So therefore, I don't understand these drivers. And people remember, you know, Popcorn is from St. Thomas, and I think that Quadra is also from St. Thomas. So, them know the road. However, the conditions of the road, a new pothole can always pop up. Because, like I said, there's always all sorts of heavy vehicles. May I talk about upon the road. And whenever it rains, it always creates some other new pothole or some other new hazard to the road. So, people, the moral of the story is this. Obviously, we see that and people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. It is not good to basically step on somebody when they are going through a very traumatic time in their life. However, the truth is the truth and this is tough love. And this will apply to other persons that are always riding or driving upon the road. Be very careful. Watch the conditions of the road. So anyways, people, the point that I was trying to make is that even though they are from St. Thomas and them basically know where all of the patrol them they like me said people, sometimes people upon the other side, them can and basically come over upon your side because they are trying to avoid some sort of patrol and um, people I am not saying that that is exactly what happened. Majosa said this could have easily been avoided. This person could have easily been alive. However, we understand when we talk about hype, we understand as it pertains to dancehall artists, we understand when adrenaline and testosterone are flow through people and them amp up them in them entourage and they are enjoying themselves and they might have been drinking on people. This is my disclaimer. I am not saying that they are drinking. However, we understand when it comes to hype and adrenaline and testosterone it is a bad mix especially when especially when you are driving a motor vehicle or a car some people like me say the three vehicle and break up suddenly the front one break up and the other two run in and back so i talk about three vehicle collision and then afterwards the person that was on the bike basically lick up on the side of the truck and lost control and basically run in at the back of the third vehicle so that is exactly what happened now, like me say the conditions of the road in a st thomas they are some of the worst in a jamaica anybody will drive on them street they can basically leave a comment and like I said before, I was there up to Saturday evening. I think maybe about between 2 and 4 o'clock I was on that road. So people may know the road very well and the road is very, very, very bad. So this is my warning to these people out there. And I am not just speaking about dancehall artists. Me just I say be careful. 
understand and study the road and understand that that is why it is called an accident because some unforeseen thing can happen like some pothole can pop up and the person on the next side of the road can basically serve in your side of the road and you have to break up so therefore if you are driving and people one other thing i always realize with these people that are always driving in an entourage and i am not just speaking about dancehall artists them always they pan each other back may talk about pan somebody back like some fish and people may not understand that because if somebody break up somebody is going to lose control and somebody or some persons are going to lose their life however I see they do it all the time because as if they are pushing the envelope they are trying to show and prove and that is one of the big things or the major things that is wrong with these young people these new Millennials in Jamaica they are always trying to show and prove and whenever you show and prove like them say show off always bring this disgrace and even worse in this case we see that this youth lost his life and it could have been easily avoided based on the report from the popo and based on everything that we see point blank and period so anyways people condolences to the unruly camp we are speaking about popcorn quarter condolences to the family we are speaking about the loved ones of this person may i talk about mr Dwayne mitchell boca and um, people like me say it is very sad it is a sad situation however it could have been avoided if people would have make better sense prevail point blank and period so anyways people, let me know in the comment section if you think that St. Thomas have the worst road in Jamaica and uh, if you think that this youth could have basically been alive still had they been basically calm and basically obey the rules and laws and regulation and watch the condition of the road. Now people, when we consider the type of person that this youth was, he was a stunt rider so therefore he basically lived his life on the edge. He was known for stunting on the road and doing all sorts of ridiculous things. We are talking about some daredevil stuff. So people like them say, one time the bucket go well, one day the bottom I go drop out. And people, this is exactly what happened to this youth. Because like me say, he was speeding. And like I said, the entourage seems as if they were speeding. I am speaking about the convoy of three vehicles. It seems as if they were speeding and had to stop suddenly. That means that they were not obeying the road code that means that they did not have proper distance because if they did they could have break up easily and everything could have been avoided but it seems like all four of them were going at a rate of speed and when something suddenly pop up they could not avoid each other and that is what happened and like I said this man is a stunt rider he lived his life on the edge so therefore whenever you live your life on the edge you are going to fall over the edge point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up